the crew of Atlantis, uh, Commander Scott uh, Altman, followed by uh, pilot Greg Johnson. Michael Good, mission specialist, performed two spacewalks on the mission. Megan MacArthur, the flight engineer of the mission, conducted the bulk of the robotic arm operations. John Grunsfeld, the lead spacewalker for the flight, uh, joined with uh, Drew Foistel on three of the spacewalks. Mike Massimino, the taller of the uh, tallest of the crew members, performed two of the spacewalks with Michael Good. And uh, the last crew member there, Drew. Atlantis' uh, STS-125 mission was the sixth uh, space shuttle flight devoted to Hubble Space Telescope uh, activities. Uh, STS Atlantis uh, completed uh, its 30th flight into space. Mike Massimino uh, there on the left uh, completed his second flight into space. He uh, joined Grunsfeld and Altman on the, uh, the last servicing mission to the Hubble Space Telescope in March 2002. All right, well, when we got uh, down to Florida, I uh, looked at everybody and said, at last. Uh, I didn't realize it was going to be so hard to get back to the Earth in the end. So again, I guess I say the same thing. At last, we're back on the ground. It's great to be here at Edwards Air Force Base and uh, NASA Dryden. Uh, having this facility for us to come home to today is just awesome. It was uh, beautiful weather. We saw the field from about 100 miles out. And landing here uh, just felt great to everybody. So we're all thrilled to have the mission complete. It was a testament to the teamwork and cooperation of folks all across the country. And we want to express our thanks to everybody, especially to Edwards, uh, for all the folks who supported us, providing us a place to land, and aren't too upset about us taking up their runway for a few hours today. So again, thanks to everybody. We're going to go do some baseline data collection, jump in the van and head off to do that. So have a great day. We're thrilled to be here. It's beautiful. Thank you so much.